And sometimes I don't even know why I still make these videos. I'm building a YouTube channel for what? I'm getting DMs, I'm getting emails, I'm getting comments in the comments below from some of you guys who will never have a music career. There's a 0% chance because What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help you take that passion for making music and transform it into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment. Two of the most important things in life in general. Now, this video, I'm gonna be a little bit heated. I was planning on doing a different topic in this video, but I keep getting emails every once in a while that set me off, as you could probably tell in the intro. Now, the number one thing in this video to remember is what you need to do to have a music career. You can't be a baker, you can't open an electronics store without electronics or without pastries, right? And you can't have a music career without music. Now, I'm gonna preface why I'm saying this. Once, uh, once in a while I get an email or I get a DM or I get a comment, like I said in the intro, from somebody just like you and my channel family, shout out to the channel family, asking how to get in touch with an A&R how to boost engagement over on Instagram, how to get more people to listen to your music, Spotify, this and that, build a brand, make money, get rich, get famous, you get the picture. At the end of the day, the number one question I always ask in response to that is, where can I check out your music? How much music have you released? And nine times out of 10, they haven't released anything or it's been like two tracks in two years. You see an issue with that? This, this is, is not necessarily a music marketing video. This isn't necessarily a hyped up motivation, inspiration thing. This is a reality check video, guys. How the fuck are you gonna have a music career without music based on what you're gonna do? Based on what you think you're gonna do? And I've mentioned this in other videos, so I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but I'm gonna break some stuff down for you right now. So get a pen and paper ready. I got the glasses on for a reason. Now, to build a, a music career, there's number one thing you have to have music, right? But you also have to have a drive that's deeper, that's more ambitious, that's a little bit more clear and driven drive than most people. Because a music career is not gonna happen by itself. So many people spend this money and spend this time doing one single, doing maybe a mixtape, doing a bunch of remixes or covers over the course of three months. And guess what? They give up. I don't want you to be one of those people that give up. Because guess what? If you don't have the intestinal fortitude to keep at it for some months, to keep at it for some years, to keep at it for a few decades, how the fuck do you think you're gonna do something out of the norm if you're just a normal person? You know, the extraordinary is just ordinary with a little extra. Are you that person? This is things you need to ask yourself when you wanna go after anything that's aside from a mediocre day job, right? If you wanna get a promotion at work, what do you gotta do? You gotta be a little bit better than the next guy. You gotta put in a little bit more effort. That 110% thing, that's a real thing. Now I know that statistically 110%, uh, you know, there's 100% cap, so we can get into some, some tech, uh, technical jargon here. But what I'm getting at is you have to put in more. You know, there, there's that quote that I've shared with you guys before, the difference between try and triumph is just a little bit more umph. Now that might be cheesy, but think of it this way. How many songs have you produced, created, recorded, written in the last six months? Now, how many have you released? So many times, especially the younger uh, audience members out there, I'm 34 years old, I don't hide my age, I'm proud of how far I've come in the last 10 years, but that's the thing. If I would've just sat around thinking about how to do YouTube videos, thinking about how to reach out to people, thinking about how to have perfect music, I would never be here. I'd be working in a construction yard somewhere in central Wisconsin making you know 40 or 50 grand a year, talking about how I could've made it. Now the issue is, how much are you willing to put out there? You know, music creators, we harness these little these little pockets of ego with each work, right? We, we have a delicate ego over here. We have a delicate balance of being super self-conscious and we don't want the world to kind of ridicule us or tell us anything negative about it because it's our baby on top of the fact that a lot of us, a lot of you, have to be overly confident to really make yourself seem larger than life. But if you don't have the balance between that, either you're a fragile little snowflake over here or you're the guy that's overly cocky with not, that doesn't have the music to back it up. Now, there's a quote out there that I absolutely love, and it's, the most known beats the best product anytime. That's why I push branding so hard, guys. Everything that you're watching here is because I've built my brand over the years in a strategic way. The, the most known is better than the best product. Now, think of it this way. If you have a Nike t-shirt, and you went and paid $34.99 or something on average, right around there, and some of the gym shirts that you could buy from Nike are up to $80 just for one of those super tight, you can see my non-existent obliques, and I walk around like this because it's super tight. Now, I can go get the same type of shirt at Walmart for 13 bucks, but guess what? I don't want a Wilson Athletic. Maybe I don't want a, you know, fill in a blank with that brand. It could be the same exact product, 
but the better known brand wins over quality. So the shirt at Walmart could be better quality, but it's not that brand. You need to build your brand. How do you build a brand? You, do, you can't build a brand without products. You need to have your products. You need to have a, an aesthetic. You need to have a narrative. I talk about this with my coaching clients. This is the first thing that we have to do. Now, so many of you guys are so afraid that you're gonna run out of the best music that you've ever made in your life, yet if you would release it right now, in five years, it would be laughable. In five years, you might even look back and say, oh, that was kind of cringy. But guess what? You can't show your audience growth if you never put anything out and show them growth, right? You can't show them an improvement if there's nothing to base that on. It's like the small, medium, large concept. There can't be a medium if you don't have a small and a large, right? Because there's no in-between. There's no intermediary. You have to put out music in order to have a music career. Straight. You guys might be thinking, oh, no shit. Some, tr some of you trolls down here are saying, you're not bringing any value with this one, Adam. Go fuck off. I don't really care. Unsubscribe if you don't like what I have to say. This is to help the guys that are just getting started. This is to help the guys that are getting going, getting that momentum built. I'm not here to, to sugarcoat things or make you feel good. The music industry is a shithole. The music industry is a toilet for 99% of people that are in it. You're going to have to crawl through shit. You're going to have to enjoy the little wins and understand that in frustration, there's wins. In frustration, there's obstacles that you're going to be able to overcome and you're going to be able to feel good in that. And if you can't, then it's probably not for you. Doing something like this, watching these videos, educating yourself is nothing without action. I would much rather you release 15 imperfect singles, 25 imperfect covers, 15 shitty looking videos than one a year because that one a year is not gonna get you anywhere. So many times people think that one great song is gonna make them blow up, right? All I need is to get this in front of Scooter Braun. All I need to do is get this in front of Two Chains. They don't give two shits, man. It's not like the old days where people are going through CDs and listening and trying to scout. If you don't have a buzz already, don't expect to get any type of call from a label. And if you're getting an email from a label trying to sign you, and you literally have 75 Instagram followers and you're that big of a dipshit to think that's a legitimate offer, you might need to kind of look at yourself in the mirror and wonder why you're so goddamn naive. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, God. I don't really say that too often. If you get offended by the GD, so do I. I apologize. I'm just kind of in the zone. Now, when you're doing music, you should be doing it for the love of music. You should be doing it to share with the world what your talents are from the inside. Now, I understand that recording music as an artist, I understand that buying gear as a producer, trust me, I'm preaching to the own choir, my own choir here. It's expensive. It takes time. It's frustrating. It's slow going. It's running through molasses at times, but that's, what's, that's what it takes to get there. Think of any major athlete in any professional realm. LeBron James, Magic Johnson, Brett Favre, uh, Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. I would consider that. <laughs> uh, I have to break from the serious sometimes, guys, and this is what I do in real life. I have to take, my, take a step back and say, you know what, it's not that serious. I need to be talking with love and compassion. I have a lot of empathy for you guys, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to be in a, at an Olympic level. You're not gonna be able to be at a professional level if you don't put in the, in the work, if you don't put in those hours, if you don't put in uh, you know, so much practice with the tenacity of a thousand people. I'm gonna start sounding, I should start speaking in, in, a, in an English accent. Bow to your king! Do you understand where I'm coming at, guys? I'm here to help you. But watching these videos with no action is gonna do nothing for you, so you might as well unsubscribe if the music thing isn't, isn't for you. But if your music thing is for you and you're super serious, I want you to subscribe and I want you to take notes on these videos. I offer uh, a course a couple times a year, offer uh, invite-only um, uh, mentorship program. I'm not pitching that to you guys. I'm just letting you know that I only deal with the serious people. The world is not going to take you serious unless you take yourself serious. You put out a tremendous amount of work to show them how hard you want it. You know, for instance, I see people spamming on Instagram all the time. And I'm gonna make a video actually about the 1,090 uh, challenge. I'm gonna actually break that down into a little mini course for free for you guys here on YouTube because I don't believe in hiding all that content behind a paywall of a membership site or anything like that. I'm gonna break it down how to talk to people, how to engage, how to look up hashtags, how to do all that. The, thing, the fact of the matter is, when we are going for something, we need to be naive in a way of knowing that it's going to happen before we see it happen. We have to be able to look up in here and say, you know what, my goals have been accomplished. Time just hasn't caught up yet. And I know you guys might think that's some hippie bullshit mumbo jumbo. Everything I have in life today, whether it be my dream home studio that keeps getting better, whether that be my car being paid off, whether that be the house that I live you know, under the roof here, Everything already happened five, 10 years ago, and just now is when time's catching up. 
I hope that makes sense and I hope that might give you some different perspective on the law of attraction or whatever you want to call it, the universe, God, whatever you believe in. Now, I'm not here to push any type of religion or any type of politics on you guys. Believe what you want, do what you want, but do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel fulfilled. Take whatever passion you have and mix it with something that you're really you know, good at and want to pursue and won't let anyone tell you no, right? You'll never take no as an answer is really what I'm getting at. If, if a simple no, if a simple two or three months of no progress is going to completely deflate you, because you have such an entitled, uh, or, or not even an entitled, let me let me not be as harsh on you guys. If you have such a misconception on how easy anything is, then you are going to uh, live a very, a very miserable life. Whatever you do, if you want to be better than the rest of the world, if you want to be uh, notor uh, not notarized, if you want to be um, given, uh, you know, your, your praise, for what you do in life, whether it be fame, whether it be fortune, whether it be notoriety, that's the word I was looking for. You're gonna have to do something way outside of the norm, way outside of the box, way outside of the typical mediocre, you know, between a four and a, and a seven, like the rest of the world lives. We have to live amplified. We have to live, you know, the, the saying, it's like that on steroids. We have to live our life amplified. So I wanna know in the comments below if you're, if you're living your life amplified. If you are, let me know. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know a couple steps that you've taken in the last few weeks to make you amplified, to show the world that you're not to be taken as a joke. I wanna know what your dreams are in the comments below and leave it to one or two sentences because at the end of the day, if you're leaving a paragraph, that's intimidating for people to interact with because that's a time consumption thing. I want you to get to the point. I want you to be as concise as possible. Now, what I did is I made this video over here that I want you to click on next. That'll get you from this zone to something very productive. I think you're gonna be happy you did. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel here, the channel family, click that little subscribe button and then the bell, come connect with me over on Instagram. And as always, all my contact information will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching.